Yo, what's Glorb and Glorbies? Today we are answering the age-old question, are you smarter than a 1912 middle schooler? What is the third largest state in the United States? Remember, the year is 1912. Oh, frack. Um, third largest? Oh my god. Montana. Yes! I thought, hmm, 1912, that's really old. California, Nevada, and Arizona, I don't know if they existed back then. <laughs> that was my logic. I was like, those seem pretty far west. So I think we're going to do great on this quiz. Which part of the brain controls balance and equilibrium? Oh, I actually know this. It's the cerebellum, because bellum like ballerina, and ballerina for balance. There you go. The Erie Canal connects Lake Erie to what waterway? I learned a song in elementary school. It's like, if you've ever navigated on the Erie Canal, Lake Erie connects to the Hudson. Yo! Which of the following is the number 0. .000004 in words? Oh my god, I can do this. Oh, the timer's ticking though. So, okay. A tenth, a hundredth, a thousandth, a ten thousandth, a hundred thousandth. So this is a millionth. So f four millionths. Yeah! In the sentence, the squirrel ran into the tree. Which word is a preposition? Into, right? Because, okay, I mean, let's do a little lesson. Squirrel's a noun, tree's a noun, ran is a verb, into is a preposition. One mnemonic device for identifying some, but not all, prepositions is to see if the word fits in the sentence. The squirrel ran blank the tree. If the word fits in that blank, such as on, in, by, up, around, under, near, toward, or toward, it is likely a preposition. Wait, what? Well, oh, so, okay, so they're saying, use this gene this specific sentence, the squirrel ran blank the tree, and if, the, if you can fill in the blank with the word, then that word is a preposition. That's great. Thank you, English, for these really specific, defined rules. I love it. During which war was the Battle of Lundy's Lane fought? Oh, frick me. Uh, uh. <laughs> All right, we're going to say it's not the Civil War. We're going to say... Uh, it's Revolutionary Mexican-American. Mexican-American. Ah, it's the War of 1812. The one you least suspect. Which of the following best defines latitude? Imaginary lines that stretch from pole to pole. Imaginary lines that run parallel to the equator. Latitude, flatitude. Longitude, longitude. It's parallel to the equator. Latitude starts with the same two letters as ladder... And the parallel ladder. This is the worst. <laughs> this is the worst possible way to remember it. Remember, latitude starts with the same two letters as ladder, and the parallel latitude lines resemble rungs on a ladder. But a ladder is vertical. That is the most confusing. That is awful. No, latitude flatitude. A man bought a farm for four thousand dollars and sold it for four thousand five hundred. What percent did he gain? Oh shit. Well, okay. Let's see. We'll do it. It's probably 15%, because 10% of 4,000 is 400, and 25% of 4,000 is 1,000, so it is, wait, is it, oh, it could be 12.5, um, oh, crap, 12.5, <laughs> I was running out of time, let's see, let's learn the correct way to do this, the man made a $500 profit on the farm, which is one eighth of 4,000. One eighth expressed as a percentage is 12.5%. Yeah, I, I probably could have and should have done the math there if I had just taken the 25%, which is 1,000, then cut it in half to get the 500. But, you know, there was a time clock and I was also, I'm also trying to entertain. It's, it's tough. It's tough out here. Which of these is not a duty of the President of the United States? Declaring war, signing or vetoing bills, appointing ambassadors, enforcing federal law. He doesn't appoint ambassadors. Oh, shh. Really? Ah, while the president is the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, Congress is solely responsible for declaring war. Well, there you go. I did not know that. Hernando de Soto was the first European explorer to see what body of water? Okay, so if he's European, then he's probably a peon in the Pacific Ocean. Ah! In 1636, Roger Williams established which of these colonies? Well, I remember this one like this. Roger Williams... Will he hum? He hummed the national anthem. The national anthem was founded in what country? Georgia. Okay. <laughs> Which of the U.S. presidents died in office? James K. Polk. Oh, it's Zachary Taylor. What is the largest gland in the human body? Uh, uh it's not the pineal gland. That's tiny. It might be the liver. Or is it the pancreas? The pancreas seems pretty big. I'm going with the liver. Yay! Who invented the electric guitar? Just kidding. Who invented the electric generator? It seems like an Edison thing, right? It's probably not, though. Ah, it's f It's Faraday. In which of these places would you find the Wasatch Mountain Range? Wasatch, Arkansas, Utah. The Wasatch Range extends 250 miles, mostly in Utah and running just slightly into Idaho. No, Utah.
A question that may not strike a chord with people today. At $2 a chord, what price is a pile of wood measuring 8 by 8 by 16 feet? Oh, we have to figure out what a cord is. Okay, so it's two dollars a cord, and the wood is eight by eight by sixteen. I don't know what a cord is. Let's assume a cord is four feet. So four, uh, 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 uh sixteen. Yay! A cord is four by four by eight feet, or one hundred twenty-eight cubic feet. A wood pile measuring eight by eight by sixteen feet is a thousand twenty-four cubic feet, which is eight cords. Wait, let's let's understand that a little bit better. Cord is four by four by eight. And now what we're dealing with is eight by eight by 16. So you might think like I did when I read that, I was like, wait, isn't eight by eight by 16 just double four by four by eight? But no, it's not because what it really is, is the four is doubled and the other four is doubled and the eight is doubled. So what is that? That is two times two times two. That's two to the third. So that's times eight. So $2 a cord, two times eight. 16. There's your knowledge. Does it make sense? By the way, these days a cord of wood often costs more than $300. Thanks, Obama. See results. 9 out of 16. It says congrats. Are, are we smarter than a 1912 middle schooler? It just says congrats. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. Let me know if you want to see me take more quizzes. I know this is pretty different from my usual content. And yeah, have a great day. Peace.